Okay guys, so before we get started with the course, we need to set up our environment. We only will need for this entire course two things. A web browser, and I would suggest Google Chrome. There's also Mozilla Firefox or Opera, Internet Explorer, uh, please don't use that. I would suggest Google Chrome for this course. And if you want to use something else later on, please do so. But for now, we're just going to stick with Google Chrome. And for this, you can open up Internet Explorer or whatever browser you use, search for Google and install Google Chrome. So just go into Google and type in Google Chrome. Okay, this will prompt you to download Google Chrome. Click on download now and download it and install it. Also, you will maybe need an account, but I will show you later on how you can go into incognito in order for your JavaScript to don't make any mistakes because Google will start loading a few JavaScript and JavaScript snippets, which we don't need. And we will always launch our Google Chrome in incognito mode. Okay, the next thing we will need is a code editor or a text editor. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to use, for now, it is the most popular and I really love it, Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is from Microsoft and it's an excellent code editor. So let's just search for Visual Studio Code or VS Code. You can type in VS Code into Google. So it will uh, send you to Visual Studio Code. Just click on it and either you're on a Mac or a Windows, just download the version that you need or actually the platform that you're on and install it. It's pretty straightforward, don't worry about it. After you have installed Visual Studio Code or just pause the video now, install it, and then get back and I will show you a few add-ons that you will also need. So after you have installed Visual Studio Code, you should have something like this. This is Visual Studio Code. So let's really quickly go over a few things here. On the left side, we'll have the Explore tag. If you don't see it, just right click here, click on Explore. You see, I can hide it and I can click it back in. So these are the things that we have on left bar. Explore, Search, Source Control, Run and Extensions. Now, the extensions part is very important because I want you to click, first of all, on the extensions and search for a few extensions that we will need in our course. The first extension that we will install will be Live Server. So just type in up here, Live, and there you have it, Live Server. So this one right here. I already have it installed, but you most likely don't have it, or if you will never use Visual Studio Code, then you most certainly don't have it. And now you can install it. Maybe it will prompt you with a restart and restart Visual Studio Code. And if not, install all of the uh, all of the extensions that I'm going to show you and restart it later on. But after you are finished installing all of them, please restart Visual Studio Code in order for all of uh, for all of the add-ons to work correctly. Now, next, I would suggest to use bracket pair colorizer. So just type in here bracket and uh, so already it's already there. Bracket pair colorizer. This is just colorize the different brackets that you have. As you can see, we have here a purple color and it ends here and here we have a blue color bracket. So this just colorizes your bracket and also your parentheses. You can see here you have a purple and then a blue parentheses. Okay, next extension that I would you suggest to install is code spell check. Type in code spell check and this will check your code if you spelled it correctly. And believe me, this is really useful because in JavaScript, when you don't type something correctly, it will prompt you in an error and you have to search that error and it takes up time. So as soon as you start typing in something, you can see here the example and it's not typed in correctly, it will prompt you with an error. I will show you later on how you can fix it. Also, I would suggest to install HTML, HTML and CSS support, this one right here. It's an excellent support for HTML and CSS, although we are not using that much HTML and CSS, but when we're going to get into string literals and you will type in HTML and CSS in your JavaScript, this will be pretty helpful. You will see later on. I would also suggest to install Prettier. I'll just type in here, Prettier. And what this does is it just automatically organizes your text. So, so you don't need to do that indentation constantly. And the last extension that I would suggest to install is JavaScript ES6. This will just install a few snippets for the ES6 syntax. Okay, so this being said, 
uh, let's, for example, I'm just going to show you how this works. So this, this will be, for example, the first chapter of the course where we learn about the basic and this is just a simple HTML. And uh, if we right click everywhere, anywhere in this HTML and click open with live server, this will open up the web browser. So this is just, just a local server. So for example, down here, you can see we're running on port 5,500 and also up here, IP address port 5,500 and index.html. So this is just a local server on your machine. So instead of right clicking a file, a HTML file in your explorer and open up it, open it up with the browser, HTML uh, live server will actually create a server and open it in the browser. Now, as you can see, I'm in incognito mode. I'm going to show you how this works. So go down here, the manage tab, and then go into settings, then search for browser. Just that me browser. And down here, live server settings, custom browser. Down here, you would choose Chrome private mode. If you're using Firefox, you can also choose Firefox private mode. And I'm going to just really quickly show you how this works. So as soon as you, you select it, you can close the setup, go into HTML again, open with live server, and this will open up Firefox. As again, it is in incognito mode. So I'm going to change this back to settings, browser, and I'm going to change it back to Chrome private. And this is because I don't want, uh, for example, right click on your browser, inspect, and we'll see here in the console, nothing is loaded excepting our own JavaScript. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this lecture. See you soon. Bye-bye.